Hey YouTube, I just wanted to do a quick comparison video between the Can-Am rear trunk box, uh, this is on my 2020 Outlander Max 650, versus the Tesseract uh, storage box that I've just picked up. I've been using the uh, this one here, the Can-Am one, for about the last year or so. One of my biggest complaints about it is the size of the opening. You have these latches here, which you need a padlock if you did want to lock them but it is a very solid box, but the size of the opening is extremely small. So you can see I've got just a, a small toolbox, uh, sorry, tool bag in there. And to be able to get that out, it's, it's wedged. I mean, you have to squeeze it through. So to fit any sort of cooler or lunch bag or anything like that in there, it gets really tight to try and uh, fit anything in the box. Compare that to my 2010, this one here, it has the lock integrated, similar to the Tesseract, so you don't need uh, any separate padlocks. And the opening here is much larger. So this ends up being the box we use for larger items, but once this one goes, I'm gonna be stuck with, uh, with two of the smaller ones on the uh, Can-Am box there. So what I ended up doing is uh, picking up the Tesseract, and the, this box here is 87 liters. The Tesseract is 130, so it is significantly better. Can-Am does make uh, 130, I believe it's a 130 liter box. Um, but I, I mean, I have friends with it and it's just crappy quality compared to both this Can-Am box and the Tesseract. Um, it's much more flimsy, uh, it leaks like crazy. So I just wanted to show you the difference. This is what the Can-Am one looks like on the machine. Just close it up here so you can see dimensions. So from the rear, I do really like the look of it. From the side, you can see not much overhang, just a, a little bit on the rear. And then from the side. So like I said, I do really like this box. It is very solid, it's well built. Um, if the opening was slightly uh, larger, this would be the box I'd be keeping. Um, you can't even fit a helmet or anything of any substantial size in the back. So what I'm gonna do is pop it off, put the Tesseract on and let you see the difference. So this is how the Tesseract attaches. It has these uh, little brackets that go into the link, uh, the link holes and what it is is basically a piece of rubber that's sandwiched by two metal plates so you loosen these two allen screws here uh, just loosen them slightly so that the the back plate doesn't detach uh, slide them down into the the link hole and then tighten them up and just tighten them evenly and it sandwiches the rubber in between the two plates and it makes for a really secure fit so these are these are rock solid in there i'll see if i can get an angle up underneath i might not be able to uh, there you can see the the bottom part of the plate there so it's just a about a three quarter inch or one inch piece of rubber sandwiched in between those two plates and you have four of them so one in each uh, in each corner of your of your back rack so I would say it's just as easy to uh, attach as the Can-Am uh, but four screws as opposed to two so let me pop the Tesseract back uh, box on and I'll show you how it looks so here's the Tesseract box installed. Very similar styling to the Can-Am box that I just had on there, um, but significantly larger. I'll do a side profile. I'll do it from the other side so you can see. So you can see it hangs off the back a little bit more than the uh, Can-Am one. And then fits perfectly around the second seat there. You can see it has the same style latches as what was on my 2010 uh, Can-Am box. So it has integrated uh, locks there and these are very, very robust locks that are on this box. Let's pop the other side off and I'll show you the inside. So this box opens 
backwards compared to the, the Can-Am, but you can see the storage volume in this one is much larger. The opening is huge. Uh, you can see my hand there. I mean, there's there's tons of space. You can easily fit three helmets in here. And you can see there the uh, screws, or sorry, the thumb screws that uh, hold it in place. So those just thumb tighten and they're extremely secure. I was sort of worried myself about how secure this box was gonna be, just using the uh, the rubber compression to hold it in place, but I'm actually surprised myself. I'll close this up and show you. So if I come down, come down here and push up as much as I can, it doesn't move the actual rack on the on the machine moves before and I'm pushing up with a lot of strength so it's not not gonna move so trailering I was worried about trailering at uh, highway speeds and whether it would move but I'm pretty confident I haven't uh, I haven't used it yet but uh, I'm going away next week so it'll be a good test for it but overall I'm extremely happy with how it looks and how it fits. I'll just move to the front of the machine and do a shot from there for you to see. So there it is from the front. So you can see they've designed it that it stays within the, uh, the fender flares. If you didn't have fender flares on your machine, uh, the side of the box there might stick over just a little bit. Uh, you can see sort of up here, it's in line with the fender flare. But uh, overall, it's a really nice fit. The finish is really nice. And for roughly a hundred dollars, I'm in Canada, roughly a hundred dollars Canadian, more expensive than what the hundred, uh, sorry, the 130 liter Can-Am box would have been. Even from the box I had, it was only about $120 more expensive, but much better quality than the Can-Am box and the storage volume can't be matched. So I'm overall very happy with it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.